So the question is, you're thinking about orthodontic treatment, you wanna move your teeth, and you got maybe a space, or it's crooked, and you're, you got the overbite, what we call overjet, check it out, the video, the overjet video, is how are you gonna do it? Who is going to do it, all right? Who is going to do it? Who are you getting to move your teeth? Dentist? Orthodontist? Somebody in a garage? Time for some pfo -ing? so you know where you're going. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you're not getting somebody from your garage or any other garage to move your teeth. And what I mean by garage is like, you know, where you park your cars. A lot of great things happen out of garages. I can't think of any right now, but it seems like a lot of great inventions start in somebody's garage. Or bands, you know, anything good like that. Tooth movement, that's a little bit uh, dicey, let's say. All right, you've got three major options currently. One is your orthodontist. We're gonna come back to these, talk about them individually. Two, the dentist, the general dentist. Three, maybe a direct-to-consumer product, a company like Smile Direct Club or Bite, who in theory is also, you know, there's an orthodontist or dentist involved in that system. Okay, so what does it matter? Well, when it comes to your teeth and the straightness of your teeth and the beauty of your bite, the person, or individual group of persons who is most qualified to help you get to what is yeah, the straightest and the most beautifulest is the orthodontist. And I'll tell you why. The orthodontist goes through an undergraduate degree, lots of school there, not too much related to teeth perhaps. Then they go to dental school. They become a general dentist first, just like every other dentist or dental specialist. They've got to get a dental license, so they get training there. And then the most important part or aspect of becoming a an orthodontic specialist being an expert in tooth movement, space closure, bite improvement, is the two to three year residency program that they go through to learn how to move those teeth, straighten those teeth and beautify those bites. This makes orthodontists the most qualified to manage your goals or your tooth movement and or bite improvement. Of course, what goes along with the specialists are increased cost and perhaps increased effort because the orthodontic specialist is pursuing what they consider the ideal, what they're trained on. Okay, so who's next that you might consider? Well, nowadays, general dentists who are licensed to operate in many different fields of dentistry. For example, somebody that graduates from dental school and gets a dental license can take out teeth, can do fillings, crowns, bridges, implants, root canals. They can even move teeth. They are licensed to do those things. Now, that being said, nowadays, especially with the introduction of clear aligner companies that help professionals digitally move teeth and then provide clear aligner trays to help move those teeth, more and more general dentists are offering these services to patients, maybe like you. So the question becomes is, well, are you getting from them what you would get from visiting an orthodontist? Is the dentist helping you see that, you know what, this is what we're shooting for and this is what we're gonna try to get you to? Great question. The reality is, is that clear aligners or braces braces, metal braces, the different kinds of braces, right, can move teeth. But is that all you want? Do you just want straight teeth or do you also want a beautiful bite? Now, not every orthodontist gives every person a beautiful bite and that's because it can be for a couple reasons. One is the individual says, you know what, we actually, I don't want a beautiful bite. Two, to get a beautiful bite, this is what's involved. You gotta wear your rubber bands or you've gotta have some sort of appliance like a Herbst or you've got to have the reverse pull headgear for you underbite folks or maybe surgery is part of fixing your bite or taking out teeth and they're just like not gonna do any of those all right so then the orthodontist is straightening teeth only. My point is, is that some individuals choose not to go the distance when it comes to their teeth for whatever reason, right? There are different reasons, but it is important for you to know and at least be aware of what it is that the orthodontic profession considers the ideal. And then as you understand that, you can understand if your dentist is offering you the chance to reach those ideals or if they're just offering you to straighten your teeth and close spaces. And this video is inspired by this experience. I had a young lady come into the office today who had been through Invisalign for one year, uno año, one year, and their general dentist had provided the treatment. Now, I don't know what the general dentist offered or explained or said, but the patient presented to me and we've got teeth that are still crooked. Now, I, 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 
Let me add this in there too, okay? So this individual had lost retainers and so some teeth had moved and I could see that in this patient's mouth. What I also saw when we looked at the bite is that this patient had excess overjet still. The side of her bite was not corrected into what we call the ideal. It was kind of more like this instead of like this. This is what she had and we want this. And so question for me is, well, what happened here? Maybe we'll give the benefit of the doubt to the dentist. The dentist offered an opportunity for this patient to receive Invisalign to try and straighten some teeth, but the patient declined the bite improvement. What I hope is not happening is that individuals go to their dentist and are offered a chance to straighten their teeth, but they don't get information about the rest of what orthodontic treatment is and what it means to have straight teeth and a beautiful bite. And so patients perhaps are not getting the information that they need from the dentist to really understand what is involved. What are the goals for ideal orthodontic treatment? Assuming that they are though, again, we're giving the best benefit of the doubt, this individual may have just, you know, declined that treatment because they wanted something less, something less invasive, something less involved, and just wanted to keep it minimal. And then you have what we consider the direct consumer product, like a Smile Direct Club or Bite, other companies. Individuals choose these companies because typically, and this is the same thing that applies to the dentist, usually the general dentist is cheaper, Invisalign or braces through your dentist is cheaper than going through your orthodontist. Going through Smile Direct Club or direct consumer product is even cheaper than going to your dentist. And the reason why is because you don't have to go into the office as much for treatment. You don't have as direct of supervision regarding your movement and bite beautifying. And so it costs less and involves less. The question is not whether the plastic that these direct consumer companies can move your teeth. They can't, they can move your teeth. The question is, is are you getting the information about the orthodontic ideal as it relates to straight teeth and beautiful bites? If you're getting that information and still choosing not to do that, that's one thing. But if you're not getting that information and you're paying lots of money, lots of money for something maybe that you weren't completely aware of, I don't think that that is a good position to be in as a consumer patient either. So after reviewing all those things, there's definitely advantages and disadvantages to each individual or group that would provide orthodontic treatment. In my opinion, and I'm an orthodontist, maybe I'm a little bit biased, you've got your orthodontist at the top. This is the best person to provide orthodontic care for you, all right? Because we'll explain what the orthodontic ideal is and what's involved. What are the different options to get you there? Then you have your general dentist. They have a dental background and some of them may have taken some extra courses, but what you wanna make sure of is that when you go to your dentist and they offer you Invisalign or braces that you're getting the full story about what is involved and what are the orthodontic ideals. What are the potential goals here that we should work towards for the straightest teeth and the most beautiful bite? And finally, you've got your direct-to-consumer products, which really is it's all you. In my opinion, it's at the bottom of the chain. It's the cheapest, but you may get the cheapest results. I felt like I needed to make a video about this because like I said, orthodontists aren't perfect, but we have the most experience as it relates to straight teeth and beautiful bites. And so if you want all the information that you can get about straight teeth and beautiful bites, come and see us. Weigh the information out, compare it to what your dentist is talking to you about uh, as it relates to straight teeth and beautiful bites and make a good decision. So the take home message is this. If you are considering orthodontic treatment for whatever reason, for your kiddo, for yourself. Maybe it's you got spaces, maybe you've got missing teeth, maybe you've got an overjet, which is what people call overbite, maybe you've got an underbite, maybe you're really crowded. Whatever the reason is, the question that you have to answer is who am I going to get to help me with these problems, right? Who am I going to get to give me the information that I need to make good decisions? And in my opinion, you've got three resources, the orthodontist, the dentist, and a direct consumer product. You may get good information from all of these individuals. I'm not saying that you can't, but in my opinion, the orthodontist is the best option for you to choose to gather information to help you make a decision as it relates to your teeth and who you want to help you with your straight teeth and beautiful bite. If you have questions about straightening your teeth and beautifying your bite and you are in the Anna, Texas or McKinney, Texas area, come and find me. I'd love to talk. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so that I can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got, just a little PFO, so you know where you're going. Packard out.